With so many people nervously anticipating phase one of Florida's reopening today, the focus has been on restaurants, retail, and the beaches. But there's still an entire segment of our community still not able to leave their homes amid coronavirus concerns. Joy's here now with one local family's plight. Joy? Tarek, Mary, a couple members of the Mosi Yunus family took a chance showing up at their mom's window to see her. As you know, there have been no visitors allowed inside assisted living facilities since mid-March. But after their mom had to have surgery without them around, they say they were relieved to see how well she's doing. And they told me she's always been the center of their world. And he had an auditorium mm -hmm. to stay. 61 years of marriage. That's what oh, Sheila and Al Mosi Yunus yeah, will be celebrating hard. June 1st. Her family tells us the couple was inseparable, eventually moving to their dream home on St. Simons Island 25 years ago. Uh, the two weeks of my birthday, we would go up there and we would spend time with family. And I just remember her loving the experience of us all just being there with her. You can imagine how hard it was for the family to move Sheila to an assisted living facility in January after she was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. Her short term memory has been is, is not good. And um, so every visit is a is a re gift, if you will. She adapted to it and she saw our visits there as uh, comforting. Sheila's son and grandson were able to visit her regularly until all visitation suddenly stopped amid the coronavirus pandemic. During that time, Sheila fell, breaking her hip and needed surgery. I fought the anxiety uh, desperately. Um, yes, it, it, is it anxiety to know that it's completely out of your hands? I can't even go to visit her. You, you know, you, we, the place you wanna be when your mother is in that condition is right next to her in the bed, holding her hand, once his mom was back at her facility, John rushed to her, overjoyed to finally see his mother, even through a closed window. Yeah. Sorry, we have to, sorry we have to visit you through the window, but they yeah. said pretty soon we're gonna be able to come in. At least we can be there, be in front of her, even if there's a piece of glass between us, and talk with her. And yes, I felt a lot better, 100% better. Do you think people will forget about the fact that there are seniors still stuck inside? Um, well, I hope not. John Mosi Yunus and his son, Marino, they say they were so relieved to see how well the staff has taken care of their mom, their grandmom. They hope they'll be able to see her again, even if it is from the outside looking in.